she told me everything. Why did she open her heart to me like that? At the time, I couldn't understand it. But now, I think I do. Snake, she wanted you to know the truth. She chose me to tell you. That's why she saved my life. I've lied to you so many times, but not this time. My orders from the government were to obtain the legacy and to eliminate everyone who knew the truth about what happened. In other words, I'm supposed to kill you. But I can't do it. Not because we loved each other, and not because you saved my life. But because I made a promise to the boss. And I intend to keep it. I just wanted you to know. And you have to live. Snake, listen to me. She didn't betray the United States. No, far from it. She was a hero who died for her country. She carried out her mission knowing full well what was going to happen. Self-sacrifice, because that was her duty. The boss's defection was a ruse set up by the U.S. government. It was all a big drama staged by Washington so they could get their hands on the philosopher's legacy. And the boss was the star of the show. They planned it so that they could get the legacy that Colonel Volgan inherited and destroy the Shagohad at the same time. Only a legendary hero like the boss could have earned Volgan's trust. Finding out where the Philosopher's legacy was hidden was to be her greatest mission. Everything was going according to plan. But then something happened that no one could have predicted. Colonel Volgan fired an American-made nuclear warhead at Sokolov's research facility. Khrushchev demanded that the U.S. government provide proof that it wasn't involved. They couldn't just abort the operation to steal the legacy. So the operation itself was greatly expanded and revised. The authorities in Washington knew that in order to prove its innocence, they'd have to get rid of the boss, and that one of their own would have to do the job. The public couldn't be allowed to find out about it. Not ever. This, they concluded, would be the best way to keep the whole thing under wraps. The boss wouldn't be allowed to come back home alive. And she wouldn't be allowed to kill herself. Her life would be ended by her most beloved disciple. That was the way the government wanted it. That was the mission she was given. And she had no choice but to carry it out. Her death at your hands was a duty she had to fulfill. Out of duty, she turned her back on her own comrades. A lesser woman would have been crushed by such a burden. The taint of disgrace will follow her to her grave. Future generations will revile her. In America, as a despicable traitor with no sense of honor. And in Russia, as a monster who unleashed a nuclear catastrophe. She will go down in official history as a war criminal. And no one will ever understand her. That was her final mission. And like a true soldier, she saw it through to the end. But I think she wanted you, of all people, to know the truth. She wanted to live on in your memory. Not as a soldier, but as a woman. But she was forbidden to tell you herself. And that's why she told me. Snake, history, will never know what she did. No one will ever learn the truth. Her story, her debriefing, will endure only in your heart. Everything she did, 
she did for her country. She sacrificed her life and her honor for her native land. She was a real hero. She was a true patriot. <laughs>